I'm in the studio today working on Arches Oil Paper, which comes in lots of different sizes. This particular one is a 12 by 16, and you can tape your edges so when you have your painting finished, you have a beautiful white border. And use some type of burnishing tool once you have taped your edges to go around and press the tape down so there is little seepage of the paint underneath. You can use the end of a paintbrush. Uh, anything that is hard, uh, even your fingernail will work, but something to burnish your edges. And when I work on paper, I usually like to start with some mark making. Lots of different things that we can use for mark making. One of my very favorites, of course, is the Marabou Art Crayons for Mixed Media. And they come in lots of beautiful colors. You can roll them up to extend them, just like a lipstick tube. But just start with some mark making. And you can add color if you choose to. In the Marabou, um, you can also use your RNF oil pigment sticks for mark making. And once you have, have started with some marks on your paper, I like to then cover in the beginning usually with something that's a little more transparent. And this is, a, I think it's a Chinese orange. And you're working in a series, which is always fun to do because you're working more than one painting at a time and they have a thread of something in common, which is the same color palette. Maybe you're mark making. Always fun to work in a series. Some of the marks will show through and some you will obliterate completely. You can always pull back through and bring them up even through your layers of paint if you choose to do so. And you can choose to spend a lot of time or a little time on these small paper series pieces.
can use your gam saw to try to do a lift which will go through those layers That is a radiant blue made by Gamblin. And you can let these dry just a little bit between applications and, and achieve even more depth and layering. This is pretty wet now, so put just a little bit more here, and then I may let this dry for a few minutes and come back to it in just a little bit.